What's up, YouTube? Bubbles and Ball Cards back with another video. Going to do the March preview here in a few minutes. Uh, scheduled it for 7.15, so I'm going to give people time to get on. Also, uh, I'm going to make it a statement right now. Uh, I got two people that have not paid. And so I have messaged them yesterday and they were messaged again today. If I don't receive payment, their cards will be pulled. I have kept them included for now, just so they are in the preview. Um, but be advised, if there's no payment, the cards will be pulled. Um, so anyway, give folks a few minutes since I scheduled it for 7.15. Uh, I will also be sending out all of the cards that uh, need to be fixed. Those will be going out tomorrow. They will be overnighted. Uh, supposedly they're going to get them taken care of as quick as possible and then sent back to me. Uh, don't you know? I don't know what to expect on how long it's going to take, but hopefully it doesn't take that long. Um, so we'll see how things go next week. Um, we will be out of town, so hopefully I get them back before. You know, before the end of the week. Um, but anyway. What's up, Rick? What's up, Ryan? How are you guys doing? Ryan, thanks for the Brady House. I have it here. Um, I haven't taken your note off of it yet, though. Can't wait to see what the Nationals do with the farm system. If they keep the guys down or if they actually bring some of them up. I guess it'll depend on how the team does. But be fun to see how that plays out. Also, I had said in video the other day that I had bought uh, some new cards. I'll show those while while we're waiting. But I picked up this Taylor Mini Red out of five. That up, and then the 2015 Bowman Chrome Orange out of 25. And then the gold out of 50. So I picked those up from my LCS when I went down to grab the order and drop off. A couple I didn't already have, so. You're driving in the snow, Rick? Yeah, it's weird to say, huh? It's almost April and you're driving in the snow. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so if folks hop on or if you're watching and you are in the submission and you have not paid, be advised that I have messaged and I need your payment. I'm not going to like name names because I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. It's just I have to uh, I have to make sure that the payments are made and everything and that's how we've always done it. So, but anyway... Um, it's going to be two invoices. The second invoice is all one person. So everybody else is on one invoice. And then the second invoice. Uh, there's no Pokemon this time. My LCS who normally is the guy that sends the Pokemon. Uh, he has not been feeling well. So he hasn't been in the shop too much lately. And he didn't have stuff ready to go. He didn't have things picked out and stuff. So um, there's no Pokemon in this order. But... Anyways, all right, it's 7.13. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I said 7.15, but two minutes isn't that big of a difference. Let's so we'll go over here, get it knocked out. Uh, first up is going to be box one. This is Josh Thompson. Didn't take long to see this guy. He's got a couple Connor Bedard young guns in here and i will say i was kind of jealous because he told me where these were pulled from and i actually stopped at this store and uh tried to get some some upper deck hockey and it was all gone and now i know why um here is two of the star rookie box set connor bedards a young gun checklist that has bedard a Steve Carlton rookie, and 
and a Joe Morgan rookie. So those are Josh Thompson's. Said the guy, I believe he said he pulled the two Bedards and four Blasters, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, how much higher? Uh, I That would be tough to say, Ryan. I really don't know, but um, I'll be honest. I told Josh when it, it was actually his friend that pulled him. Um, I told him to be personally i probably wouldn't have even sent them in for grading i probably would have just sold them uh i've heard that there's probably going to be like more waves released and then you also have epac and stuff like that going to be coming out and then you're going to be heading into the off season where you know blackhawks are already eliminated you're going to have the uh, sp authentic future watches and all that stuff coming out so there's so much like there's so much there to push the card further down. Um, the kid's good, but when there's a high supply and, you know, again, other things coming out, uh, there's a lot there that could could bring the price down. So, just have to see how it goes. But, all right. Next, I have box number seven. And this is Ray Story. Uh, here's an interesting one we got a leaf perfect game justin fields auto playing baseball twenty seventeen leaf perfect game justin fields I guess that's a sneaky cheap way I don't know what the card is but uh, probably a cheaper way to get a Fields Auto if you want one. Uh, Mosaic Genesis Justin Fields. Here is a Don Russ Red Press Proof. This is a Legacy uh, Jordan Addison Rookie Blue out of 35. Um, Optic, Red Mojo, Justin Fields, not numbered. I believe this is like the, the kind of like Prism Choice type thing. They normally do like a Mojo pattern and red is one of their popular colors. Playoff Momentum, Auto, Justin Fields. Here is a Stars Optic. Prism, red, white, and blue, Jameer Gibbs. A Topps first edition, Joey Gallo, auto out of 150. Prism, red wave, Pete Werner. Auto out of 149. Uh, Romo Gold out of 10. Prism Gold. Here's a Topps First Edition Green Tie France out of 150. Prism Silver, LeBron James. Uh, Revolution, Luca. Net Marvels, Giannis. Press Proof. Select Numbers, Giannis. This one is not numbered. Looks like a blue. I think that's a retail parallel. Here's an Obsidian Jason Tatum. Uh, Red Wave Giannis MVPs. 
for Mosaic. Revolution Giannis. Prism Orange Wave, RJ Barrett. Out of 60. First edition tops black out of 25, Mike Miner. Green, Ivan Castillo, rookie, first edition. And it is out of 150. First edition Bowman. Gold out of 50, Alexander Vargas. First edition, or sorry, first Bowman, Chrome, Ellie De La Cruz. I was on a roll with the first editions. Uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez, first edition gold out of 50. O'Neill Cruz, Bowman Paper Rookie. Tops Chrome O'Neill Cruz. Uh, there's two Ellie first edition first Bowmans. What's up, James? How you doing, sir? Uh, Brett Beatty Bowman Chrome. Are those silvers or exclusives of J Rob in the background? Uh, the missus is, um, she is filling out addresses for graduation party invitations and watching, I think, Formula One with my daughter. But she is working on grad invitations. At addressing them and everything. Um, Rev, if if you're asking about this one and this one, that's the French and that is the silver foil. Um, I actually seen a PSA 10 exclusive Robertson. I think it was a week and a half ago, end for six fifty on eBay, and I was so tempted to put a bid on it but I needed to file my taxes and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to have to pay the tax man. I knew it was going to be a pretty hefty sum and it went for 650 so somebody got a hell of a deal but I was I didn't want to spend the money cuz I had an estimate of what my taxes were going to be in my head but then in my I was talking to myself that it was going to be a lot higher and so I was trying to be responsible and make sure that yeah, it ended up being actually better than I thought. So, um, anyway, I lost out on it. I should have, I should have just pulled the trigger, but uh, yeah, it sucked. <laughs> the taxes were were less, but I didn't want to spend the money because I knew I had the tax bill coming up. <laughs> but Austin Hendrick Blue out of one fifty. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like, that it wasn't going to be more than I expected. Uh, Aqua Wave, Jose Salas out of 125. Are you all invited to the party? Man, uh, Rick, I honestly have no idea. I, I, give me a minute to finish this and I'll explain. Uh, first edition out of 150. 50, Pete Crow Armstrong. And then a Classics, Derek Jeter. So my daughter decided, she, one of her friends goes to the other high school in the county. And they decided this year to do both schools' graduations at the exact same time on the exact same day. So... My daughter can't go to her friend's graduation, and her friend can't go to her graduation. And so what they decided to compromise on is they want to have a joint graduation party. Um, so 
my wife and my daughter's friend's mom has been kind of coordinating all of this, mostly my wife. And uh, I don't know exactly what the count is on how many people are supposed to be here. Uh, I have kind of just, um, if there's been questions asked, have kind of shared my input, but otherwise, uh, I know Amazon man keeps showing up with boxes for graduation party stuff. I don't know. Um, I don't know who all she's got on. I know, I know there's probably at least a hundred people or more. I, I, there's a stack of, of invitations. So, um, I don't want to sit here and say anyone is or is not because I honestly do not know. But proud of her. We got two graduations in, I think, two weeks. We have to go travel, stay overnight to do the college graduation. And then I think the high school is the following week after that. So it's going to be busy. Uh, next is box 11, which is Ryan. And again, Ryan, thank you, man. He sent me a Brady House Crown Royale, Future Kings. So that's pretty sick. Um, I actually found another leaf uh, Brady House I might might contemplate picking up. I don't know. It has a really cool patch, even though it's not associated with him. It's still kind of cool. But, all right. This is the card, Ryan, that wasn't on the list, just so you can see. Um, we wanted to make sure, because this was on there, but we didn't know if this was accidental or not, but... Independence Day, Vladdy, out of 76. And then you have a Topps Chrome Logo Fractor rookie, Riley Green. Oh, I definitely had to pay, Rev. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it was better than I expected, but I definitely had to pay. Uh, Stadium Club Chrome Shohei. Here is a Tops. Uh, this is a yellow foil or gold foil out of 50, I guess. Ronnie Mauricio. Uh, first Bowman, Gabriel Gonzalez, Speckle out of 299 Auto. Yeah, there she is. They were asking where you were. I told them that you were uh, knee deep in invitations. Um, here is a Sapphire out of 55, Gabriel Gonzalez like a aqua teal sapphire uh, Jordan Lawler mojo auto out of 299 silver pack Lawler auto here is a this is this the gold yep gold out of 50 silver pack Lawler Uh, this is, I remember, I, I've seen these, but I don't remember what they called it. The Easter one, okay. The Easter foil, I knew it was something weird that they hadn't done in the past. I guess it looks like a rabbit or something on there. Maybe a little peep, I can't tell exactly what it is on there, but yeah. I knew it was something new, I just couldn't remember what the heck they were calling it. And then here is a Heritage Rookie of Francisco Lindor. So there you go, Ryan. And that is that Lindor action shot? No, it is a high number though, I see that. All right. Next is box 15. All right, Rick, this is what I picked out for you, man. 
I went through Rick's piles of boxes yesterday and got stuff organized to make it a little bit easier to start finding things when he tells me how many cards to pull and to give him an idea of how many cards he has here. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I got you a mixture here. Hope you're happy with this. Some of these, I think, I didn't look up uh, prices on some of them. Um, but I know they grade well, and I think, I think with as many as you have of some of these that I pulled, um, it could be a good thing. But, alright, here's a 2015 Diamond Kings Dual Relic Auto Corey Seager. It's out of 25 on the Seager. You had a Flawless... This is Flawless Collegiate out of 15, Matt Stafford Auto. And then, I don't know if you remembered even having these, but I pulled out some of the decent names from these Bowman Transcendents. Um, here's Dylan Carlson. And these are numbered out of 50. There's Carlson, Robert Hassel. He's looked pretty good so far. Got to stay up and play in the first couple games. Julio. Uh, Bobby Witt. Adley. Dominguez. And then uh, Heston, Heston Kjerstad, or however you say his last name. Jerstad, I guess. I guess the K would be silent, right? Or is it the J is silent and it's Kerstad? Hmm. But some good prospects there. So figured I'd pull these. Then you had the Optic Hollow Auto uh, out of 99, Natalie Decker. And then you also had a National Treasures Clint Boyer out of 25. Figured since NASCAR's fired back up, those might be okay. Then you had a first Bowman Auto Alec Thomas. Uh, Leaf Trinity inscribed out of 10, Ian Happ. Uh, Joe Gray, first Bowman Auto. I was trying to pull, if you had baseball autos, the ones i seen as I was going through. Uh, Bryce Terang, Bowman's Best. And then you also had a green out of 99 and a red out of 10. Um, this is Purple Paper out of 250, Dominguez. And then you had a camo paper. Green out of 99, Jake McCarthy. You had a Chrome CC rookie, Topps Chrome Sabathia rookie. All right, and then some football players that From your Bowman U stuff, I, again, I tried to put a mix in here for you. <laughs> Anthony Richardson, first Bowman refractor. It's not numbered. Here is a 2001 Pacific. I thought this card looked cool and it should pop in the tux. But Drew Brees. Big Kahuna, Jackson Smith. And however you say that last part of his name. And then I've been hearing a lot of buzz on this guy, so I figured, why don't we get these sent in for you? JJ McCarthy, here's an Aqua out of 299. You had a couple pinks, they are not numbered. And then a refractor. Uh, Brandon Marshall, Bowman Chrome Rookie Auto. 
I thought this one was cool. Uh, this is from the National uh, Panini Purple Ice out of 99 from the 2019 National. Little uh, story that you guys probably don't know. Um, I'm glad I actually sold it. Uh, I was worried that I made a mistake, but obviously I didn't. But at one time, I had the entire rainbow except for the uh, 101 from this set of Wander Franco. <laughs> I actually tracked down the entire rainbow of it, and then I sold it. Uh, Travis Etienne, Mosaic, Auto, not numbered. Uh, Ryan Blaney, another NASCAR Optic Auto. Marco Rossi, Young Gun. Like I said, I gave you a little mix. Here's a Bench Warmers, Cassandra Lynn. Auto. And a Katie uh, Lohman. Bench Warmers Auto. And then here is the Glamour Graphs Pop Century Daisy Ridley Pink. And it's numbered out of five. And then the two trump cards, these are pieces of the past. One time series one edition. Uh, Donald Trump. Looks like they actually, that paper might actually go together. It's kind of a matching pair there. All right, and then I went with some Transformers. We've sent some of these in for you before. They graded really well. Um, I think these cards have, I, I don't know what the values on them are, but they're cool. And you seem to have pretty much the entire set. So I think a set of these would do fairly nice. But here is Rumble. Got you two side swipes. Hook. Long haul, buzzsaw, ramjet, grimlock, megatron. Who in the hell doesn't like megatron? Two shockwaves. Well, actually, you got three shockwaves. So there you go. Pretty good mix, some fun stuff, autos, all of that good stuff, refractors, football for the draft. A little mix there for you. Next, I have Ryan Satterley, and this is box 16. Uh, let me scroll down. Okay. All right. Here is a 1929 Shonen Club postcard Babe Ruth. Kind of a neat one. I actually thought that this image was from the... Um, I can't remember the name of it now. The butter one. Or margarine or whatever it is that he has. That, that a lot of people have. I thought it was the same image. But I looked it up and it's different. That's the 1929 Shonen Club postcard. Here is a Leaf Fractal Matrix... Uh, 50th anniversary diamond axis Frank Thomas um, he asked he asked me to look at this one I would suggest authentic only because 
It has damage right here that I think would drop the grade pretty significantly. So I think it would be better suited in just an authentic. All right, here is a Dominic Hasek Flare Ultra, and this is out of a hundred ice medallion. Here's a Mirror Blue Leaf Certified Cal Ripken Jr. numbered out of 50. Maddox Mirror Blue. Chrome Black and White Acuna Rookie. Or actually, I guess this is the uh, negative. I called it the Black and White Refractor. It's the negative refractor. Um, Heritage Julio Auto. Tops Patrick Waugh. Uh, Panini Crusade out of 49, Kobe Bryant. Uh, 48 Leaf, Ted Williams. Uh, George Blayholder, and this is Diamond Stars, National Chicle. All right, this is Hooks Wiltsy T213 Old Mill Back. Hooks Wiltsy. It's hard to see the names on there, even with my glasses. They should have made these bigger. Uh, let's see. This one is Ed Lennox. And it's a Sovereign back. This one is Doc Crandall. And obviously these are going to be lower grade, but the backs are pretty interesting. This is a Tolstoy back. And then this one is... This one might actually be pretty big. I can't remember. This is Sherry Maggie Old Mill back. I can't remember what the Maggie's value is, but that one might be. That's probably the best one out of those tobacco cards. All right, let me get these boxed back up. Is Orlando still in here? He would know. James might know as well. I can't remember what the Maggie, the value is on that. Obviously, the back is... A significant portion of the value on those cards too but all right next is card seller he just has one card like I said uh, the owner has been under the weather and not in the shop but he sent in a prestige Patrick Mahomes rookie so that's the one card for card seller Next, I got box 32 is Drew. Uh, these here are just getting reholders. So um, here's a 1910 Old Mill and a SGC 5, but he wants the reholder. A Rube Waddell Sweet Capital and a 2.5. This is kind of cool. An exquisite cut signature out of two. Mel Ott, 8.5 with a 10 auto. Um, he just wants it reholdered. And then this is a Lindsey Vaughn, Allen and Ginter, 9 with a 10 auto. And he just wants it reholdered. 
those are the reholders. And then uh, let's see if I can figure out what all of these are because I already see that there's some stuff that I have no idea what the hell these are. Man. So this is just a says it's from 1888 sent anti uh, Lorillards. It looks like an old store uh, tobacco card, I guess. Far excels any other fine cut. Either tobacco or clothing. Could be clothing. That's kind of cool. And this is Between the Axe and Bravo Cigarettes, May Gallagher. I'll show these since it's stuff that we don't normally see. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is The Creeper. So we have the creeper now. What was the other one? A laughing jackass, I think, was one that we sent in. This is the creeper. British birds. Oh, tree creeper. I thought it said the creeper. Man, it's tiny writing right there. I thought it said the creeper, but it's tree creeper. All right, British birds, tree creeper. <laughs> we got C.J. Stroud. Don Russ. And we got CJ Stroud Prism. Here is a Ryan Sandberg Arena acclaimed triple bat relic out of 20 or sorry out of 99. This is from Panini Pantheon. We got a Jim Palmer here. 79 Palmer. One of the nicest autographs that doesn't get spoken of, but Tops Legends Andre Dawson. Little Ricky Henderson rookie. Uh, Rat Pack NWA. And then you got the genius Jizza from Wu Tang. Uh, Grateful Dead 710 Ashbury. This is from Rock Cards. 91 GDM Rock Cards. Here's Jerry Garcia. Phil Lesh. Bob Wire or Weir. A little Panini Threads Jokic. Post Serial, Willie Mays, and Hank Aaron. Uh, this is 83-84 Opeachy, Wayne Gretzky. If anybody's keeping up with hockey, uh, Ovi had two more goals today. So he is slowly catching some heat. Here is the Garnett, Jermaine O'Neal, Kobe Bryant rookie. Tops Archives, Orlando Cepeda autograph. It's the uh, Mini Minoso archive auto. Ken Holtzman. Archive Auto. 
Uh, Kraken have not done as well as they did last year. The Stars are battling to stay atop of their division. Um, it, it's kind of like a three-team race for the the division they're in. They kind of like keep bouncing around depending on the Knights' outcome. But they're doing good otherwise. Uh, Tops Archives, Don Newcomb Auto. They look to, I think, the team this year has appeared better than last year, even though there's not, like, like Robertson's not having a 100-point season or whatever, but all around the team is, like, spreading out the, the output, and it feels like they have stronger, multiple strong lines, which can play out better for the playoffs, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Um, Archives Kirk Gibson Auto to round him out. I'll say I like it when it's more spread out and the team seems a lot more balanced um, because then it doesn't feel like you're putting all your confidence in like one or two players and if they have a bad game then it you know everything goes to hell. At least you got other players there that are pretty good. So. All right, next up is box 42, Caden. All right, he has a Phoenix out of 25, Zay Flowers Relic Auto. There's a Select Cosmic. These are one of the best cards Panini has made, I think. In my personal opinion, I really like the Cosmics. But Select Cosmic, Joe Montana. Uh, I don't think the Kraken are going to make the playoffs. I could be wrong. Last I checked... Um, last I checked, they're not in the playoffs. I hope my packing didn't make things harder. Uh, I don't believe so. It was just yours and Caden's, right? We have yours and and your and then Caden's here. Um, Crusade rookies to start. You're always making things difficult, Ray. Just come on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> rookies and stars. Crusade. Randy Moss out of ten. Um, Don Ross Elite. Oh, this is pretty sick. Out of 11, CJ Stroud out of 11. That might be a little something. It's got a cool little foil pattern behind him. That's pretty nice. Here's a green disco Ivan Pace Jr. Out of five yeah I kind of figured that would because if folks aren't familiar with the first one of the line most cases the um, they have wacky serial numberings to them uh, first off the lines normally have like odd numbers and then the Asia products like the choice and those type of products that are supposedly asia exclusive they normally have like stuff numbered to eight and 88 because it's the like it's the asian lucky number or something like that is what it refers to and so you can normally kind of tell what things come out of um just off of those because it'll have like this wackier serial number than usual so um like i'm pretty certain and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is from Fanatics Exclusive Blasters. But here's a green ice, CJ Stroud. It's a lot to keep up with, and I don't know it all anymore because they keep making more and more and more and more and more different things, but doing this a while. 
<laughs> Rookie and Stars Crusade. Uh, Anthony Richardson. Uh, let's see. This is Rookie Rising Phoenix. That one's not numbered. Here's a Jordan Addison Origins Auto. Pink Auto Prism Addison. Uh, Bijan Robinson Elite out of 25 Turn of the Century Auto. And then a National Pride Orange Mosaic out of 25, Justin Jefferson. So there you go, Caden. Next is box 46. This is Carlos Bonnet. We got Franchise Futures from Donruss Elite. Devin Booker out of 58. Here is an Intrigue Triple Relic out of 25. Steven Adams, Giannis, and Dennis Schroeder. And it's from 2013-14. Here's a Michael Porter Jr. Revolution Sunburst out of 75. Momentous Rookies Auto Bradley Beal out of 49. LeBron, this is a SPX from 0405, so this would be second year out of 500. Anthony Edwards. This would be out of Chronicles, out of 99. And then last up here is a Threads, Anthony Edwards, out of 49. Good luck on those, Carlos. All right, one second. Right here, whoops, click the wrong thing, go back over, cancel, what, what are y'all doing to me, okay, all right, Next is invoice number two, and this is Richard Rush. All right, here we go. This is 28, no, 2017. Bowman Paper Juan Soto. These are the 2018, yeah, okay. 2018 Bowman Chrome, Juan Soto. Here is the Talent Pipeline. Juan Soto, Oswaldo Abreu, and Eric Fetty. Uh, Legends in the Making from 2018 Update. Got three of those, Juan Soto.
Here's the update paper. So those that don't know or haven't ever seen them, there is a few cards that I still have kept the gold labels of and I still have. If you go all the way back to the beginning of the channel, the very first order I ever sent to SGC, you will see <laughs> that things are different. Um, I actually had a quite a bit of gold labels then, but I got a paper and a chrome Juan Soto gold label, and I've always kept the pair paired together. And even though he's went to San Diego and now he's in the Yankees and, you know, I moved some of my gold labels just because it kind of makes me wonder why they're not doing them anymore when I got so many back then. Um, it kind of takes the, I guess, specialness away from them. Um, so I've started moving some, but I did keep the paper and the chrome of them. Uh, here's a Jackson Chirio. Mojo first Bowman and then here is a base Bobby Witt Jr. base well, let me make sure it's not like Advanced stats or any of that other crazy crap that they put on the back That would be kind of crazy Ryan uh, purple wit chrome I'll tell you, part of the reason I kept them is I have been, uh, I've been offered by several people to buy my, my soda gold labels, and I always turned it down, and they were honestly two of the cards I was most excited about on that first order, um, and it was cool to have the pairing of them, so. Uh, Bowman Chrome High Five Futures, Bobby Wood Jr., Here's a couple Julio's. Base tops. Silver pack Julio. What I am surprised about is I still, like, I would have expected by now that there was uh, the, the Montgomery Club cards would still have some significance to them and people would, like, have pick those up and everything um i just don't see many of them i don't hear many people talking about them and i don't know maybe i'm just crazy but i've kind of looked at those as the tiffany version of today's cards because they're limited even though they've upped the production of them they're restricted and limited how to get them they're not anywhere near as highly produced as the regular tops cards um, they're a better card stock quality and everything. I just always figured that those would start seeing some of those, that significance of what the Tiffany did back in the day, but I don't know. Uh, here's Bowman's Best Base, Julio. What's up, Guns? How are you doing, man? Uh, this, speaking of... Is this archives? I can't see what the heck this one is. I think this is an archives or a throwback or something, but it's a Julio. No, I didn't say that they're no longer doing them. I'm saying that I no longer see them. <laughs> I mean, I have not had any information telling me that they're no longer doing them. I just never see anybody get them anymore. I don't know. Bowman Platinum Julio. Here is a couple Bowman Chrome. This is the uh, Soto Rookies. We used to get some in every order. And it has been a long time since we've had one. And the reason I say that I don't see them anymore is 
I mean, my first order, I got 13. My second order, I got, I don't know, eight, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. My third order I sent, I got like five. So, somewhere in there. I know the first order had 13. I can't remember exactly what the second and the third had. But it was probably over 20 in three orders. And since those three orders, which were back in 2020, all of the cards I've sent since then, I've gotten two. And they were in the same bulk order. So... Um, it kind of was weird that things changed so drastically. Um, here's a Bowman Chrome. This is 2020 Bowman Chrome Julio. Tops Heritage Julio. Yeah, it's been a while. Here is a Topps Now Generation Julio. Or Generation Now, I guess I should say. Uh, first Bowman Mojo, Junior Caminero. First Bowman, Evan Carter. Wyatt Langford. Ellie De La Cruz. Future Stars Otani. Rookie Debut Otani. What's the over under on Otani's punishment? Should we wager should we make wagers with illegal bookmakers? Wire them some money. Uh, here's the rookies, Otani. Hoops, Jordan. And then the all-star. And a base. Got a little, little Jordan. Here is the Fans' Choice Supreme Court NBA Hoops. Uh, creators, Top's Finest. <laughs> That'll be from the Hall of Fame, Paul. <laughs> uh, 90 Fleer, Jordan. Mentors and learners, LeBron, Kobe, and LeBron. Ninety-two tops, Jeter, and a Francisco Alvarez mojo. All right. Braves future stars. Acuna, Albies, and Bilhara. Bowman's Best Refractor, Acuna. Got a couple, three debut Acunas. Three legends in the making. The must be the sleeve on that card. Update Acuna. Y'all probably can't tell on camera, but it looked like it was, like, almost grayed out. I don't know if it, maybe it was my eyes, but I think it's actually the sleeve, the penny sleeve it was in. Uh, Bowman rookie, Corey Seager. Uh, 
A couple of Japan's finest, Otani Ichiro. Tops Holiday, Otani. Angels, Future Stars, Bridwell, Scribner, and Otani. Optic, Rated Rookie. International Affair. Update Rookies. Oh, this is Game Changers, not Rookies. Uh, this one is the red shirt variation. Bowman Platinum. Three game home run streak times four. Legends in the making times four. Tops Gallery, Juan Soto. This is probably outside of how young he looks in his Bowman, his first Bowman. This is probably one of the worst Soto cards they ever made. I don't know who the artist was, but I think this was one of the worst cards they made of him. Uh, here is uh, 74 Zonka. Couple of CJ Stroud, Don Russ. Any Volpes coming in, most don't make sense to grade. Um, I have not seen any in this order, but I never. Look, people grade cards for many different reasons, and uh, I'm not ever one to tell someone that it doesn't make sense i grade stupid shit all the time i mean i buy a guy that's like on his what fourth team and uh is a career like what probably 230 hitter it's not my right to tell people what is or what doesn't make sense now there are cases, and I would agree that, you know, you can enjoy the cards the other way, but maybe somebody just wants their Volpes in a case, you know? Uh, press Proof, Don Russ, CJ Stroud. Here is a Optic Pink, CJ Stroud. Will Levis, red, press proof. Anthony Richardson, optic pink. Uh, AJ Brown, out of 25, signature marks auto. Brandon Ayuk out of 50 auto. Downtown Peyton Manning. First Bowman times four, Josh Jung. Oh, this is cool. This is the Spotlights, Corbin Carroll, Bowman Chrome. These cards are really sharp. They remind me of the Prism Profiles. They're pretty sharp. 
Uh, here is Corbin Carroll, Rookie of the Year favorites times two. The Mojo. I like the, I don't know if you've ever seen them, Ryan, but they're called Prism Profiles. I have the Juan Soto and Max Scherzer. Um, I need to get the damn Griffey because I know there is a Griffey of it and I need to see if they've done them since I think it was 2019 when they came out with them. I think. Um, I need to see if they've done them since then because I haven't seen them, but those were pretty sharp cards too. Uh, Bowman Chrome Mojo Rookie Carroll. Here's a base Chrome Rookie Carroll. Uh, Heritage. Tops Chrome Refractor. And we'll finish it up with a Topps Chrome Cosmic base. So there you go, guys. They will go out tomorrow. All of the cards that need to be um, fixed will also be going out tomorrow. Again, hopefully they get them back to me quickly. Um, this order, as you know, as we have seen, probably two and a half weeks or so three weeks something like that um and hopefully there's no issues this time because that's getting a bit old but uh i appreciate all of you um for the patience in all of the issues i've been you know me and her both have been trying to do things the absolute best way possible not only for you guys but the easiest way for us because it does create some chaos because we have to spend additional time to do all of that but um it's being taken care of it's being handled and that's the most important part so but i do want to thank you guys for being patient so that's it guys hope you guys have a wonderful sunday evening um and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next video, I'm out.